Hey guys, welcome back. It's Potatoes. Today, we will be covering the reinforcements in Star Wars Battlefront 2. We will be covering how to stay alive longer, how to get more kills, and overall, to help you benefit the team more. I will give some tips that I've learned from the past days for the Flame Trooper, which is useless, the Jump Troopers, the Wookiee Warrior, and the B2 Battle Droid. First off, we have the Jump Trooper. The Jump Trooper currently takes 2,000 battle points to purchase. One thing to note before we go into this, the Jump Trooper actually has four variants. The First Order variant, the Clone Jump Trooper variant, the B2 Battle Droid variant, and the Resistance Jump Trooper. All of these are almost the same except that their primary blasters are slightly different. The First Order and the Clone Drum Troopers carry powerful pistols for close quarter combat, and the Resistance and the B2 Battle Droid Jump Troopers have rifles suitable for any range of combat. Now once you've chosen your Jump Trooper, you have three abilities a jetpack boost, a rocket launcher, and a jetpack dash. The boost launches you into the sky really high, giving you the higher ground, which is great for using the smart rocket. The rocket launcher, well, it's a rocket launcher, currently it's a bit less powerful than the smart rocket from the first game. And finally, the jetpack dash. The dash makes you hover in any direction. It only brings you a few feet above the ground, but it's very good to get in or out of a sticky situation. Don't forget, this reinforcement doesn't have the roll ability. Instead, it uses a very small boost of the jetpack and boosts you in whichever direction you choose. Now let's move on to the strategies. The jump trooper is extremely agile with 250 health what you want to do is save your smart rocket from multiple enemies. Even though you know it won't be able to kill all of them with one rocket, it will lower them a bit so you can kill them with your primary blaster. Don't forget that the jump troopers primaries are actually really good, as they pack more of a punch than you think. Try not to rush into combat completely, although if you're an experienced player you can do this effectively. It is not advised though. If you use the different jetpack abilities correctly while trying to flank, you could end up hitting it big. If you start to get shot at, use the roll ability, as it launches you in a few meters to the left, right, back, and forth, and it might freak out the enemies. The jet trooper follows one main playstyle, keep moving. If you follow this trend, you should be able to land massive kill streaks. Now onto the flame trooper. I said I was going to give some tips for him, but let's be honest, he's hopeless. The next reinforcement we are going to cover is the Wookiee Warrior. He takes 3000 battle points to purchase. The Wookiee Warrior has 300 health and is armed with a bowcaster as a primary weapon. He also has 3 different abilities. He has a thermal imploder, the bowcaster frenzy, and the combat rush ability. The thermal imploder is the same grenade from the first battlefront, but I believe it is slightly bigger for the Wookiees. The Bowcaster's Frenzy, to be honest, I'm not really sure what this does, but all I know is that you're not able to jump when shooting off your Bowcaster. And finally, the Combat Rush. The Combat Rush speeds up your health regeneration, 
same as the one in the assault class. Let's move on to the strategies for the Wookiee. The Wookiee warrior has average mobility, high health, and has a great weapon, close, and even for a long range weapon. The bowcaster has to be charged up by holding down the right trigger. The longer you hold it down, the more powerful it becomes. Around 50% of the time that I've charged it up to max, I've gotten a one shot kill. Otherwise, I would get them down to 10 health. From there, you can just tap it again and it will insta kill them. If you hold down the left trigger, it changes the mode of the bowcaster from 5 across to kind of like a cross making it so that you can reach enemies even from a distance. You have both options to mess around with. They both resemble the bowcaster from the first battlefront, the pre-Bespin version and the post-Bespin version. Make sure to use these abilities wisely as using a 5 across bowcaster might not help you if you're trying to hit someone from a distance. Try to stick to closer quarter combat, as that is where he will thrive, such as Strike on Takodana, where most of the map is covered in trees. It provides great cover. Don't forget to use the Combat Rush ability. This is one of the Wookiee's best abilities, as you can rush into battle and take some damage, but you recover your health super quickly. One more thing that most people forget to do. When you're fighting enemies, shoot at the ground and jump around them. If you stand still and aim for the enemy's bodies instead of the ground, you'll end up missing your shots and losing a lot of unnecessary health. Let's go on to the last reinforcement we'll be covering today. The B2 Super Battle Droid. The B2 Super Battle Droid takes 3,000 battle points to purchase. The Super Battle Droid is equipped with a rocket launcher, the overload ability, and the fortify ability. Don't confuse the B2 RP Rocket Droid as that one has white markings on it and this one does not. This Super Battle Droid does not fly. Let's move on to the strategy. The rocket launcher is the same one that the jump troopers carry. It's not as easy to kill people with this due to the lack of the jetpack ability. But that doesn't make it useless. If you use this inside a tunnel or in close quarters combat, you can still get some point chains with it. The overload ability makes the primary weapon of the droid fire as fast as possible with extreme fire rate. This ability is also made for close quarters, as you can take out a few enemies very very quickly with this ability. Against heroes, this ability is devastating. Try using this when you know a bunch of enemies are coming for you. The Fortify ability. This ability is just a combat rush, same as the Wookiee Warrior and the Assault class ability. This as stated with the Wookiee Warrior is very beneficial for staying alive. Being able to regen health in seconds is extremely useful. Deploy this ability when you're at low or getting shot at. This is one of the least used reinforcements at least what I've seen from. If you bring this into combat you might surprise your enemies with the different abilities you have. Instead of jump hacking around like crazy, you can play it slightly slower and still get a bunch of kills. If this tutorial helped you, make sure to drop a like and if you're new to the channel, make sure to check out my other tutorials and consider subscribing. This is Infinite Potatoes, signing out.